Hi all and welcome to part 2. In this part I will show you how to sew your cardigan together. Please don't forget to watch part 1, 2 and 3, how to crochet the blocks and the scarf. So for my cardigan I'll be using these simply chunky black and white colors. You will also need 5mm hook, a stitch marker, a yarn needle and the scissors. For this cardigan you will need 52 squares, so you will need 17 white squares, I call them white because they ending up with the white yarn and 35 black squares because they ending up with the black color. So get your squares ready, as you can see it's a lot of work but I think it's worth it because it's really really unique. So prepare your back part, we are going to place blocks like this it doesn't have to be exactly the same like mine you can swap them around the way you like and then we're gonna squeeze them like this so you see where we are going to sew okay so we have lines in the middle so put them in the rows and then the sleeves and here you can see I prepared them and sewed them in the lines and also the sleeves. So three for the sleeves on the sides as you can see on this picture. And now prepare your front parts. So for the front parts it will be exactly the same. But we will have two lines for the right and two lines for the left part. We are going to sew our back part first, so I already sewn it, as you can see with the single crochet and I have done it in the lines like this and I am going to show you how to do it right in the middle to complete our back part. I'll be using these clips because these are very very good for the cardigan to stay in the same place together. As you can see, you already know how to sew the blocks. If not, please check part one. Now we are going to place the clips like this. So your blocks will stay nicely together. And that's the line which I'm going to show you how to crochet with a single crochet to finish your back part. And we should have something like this. Don't forget to attach your three squares as your sleeve to this back part as well. On this side and of course on the other side. Like this. So three for the sleeve. So we have something like this. And now I'm going to show you how to crochet this middle part and we are going to start right here in this corner. So we are going to start at the bottom and we are going to sew with a single crochet all the way up and I already done it here as you can see all the way up with the black yarn like this and on the other side as well so sew it like this in the lines all the way up i am going to show you on this middle part how to do it just in a minute 
So let's sew our front parts. And this will be your left one, and this will be your right one. So this was your back part, and when we separate it like this, we will get the front part. So we get the right one and the left one. As you can see, so two lines for each part plus three on the side for the sleeve. Okay, so I will place my parts like this. And that's what we have. And this was our back part when we put it together. So let's sew our back part together like so. Insert your hook and create a knot like this in that space. And we are going to sew all the way up. Okay, I hope you can see very well because it's a little bit tricky to show you with the black yarn. Okay, insert your hook and bring it up and chain one. We'll be working all the way up and in each space we'll be placing two single crochet like this. So you will place two single crochet here in this space and in this space here as well two single crochet into this this space and this space here two two and finish with two as well So you will place one single crochet and one more into the same space. Now you are going to find your first stitch on this side and first stitch on the other side and create single crochet. It's a little bit tricky to see with this black yarn, but you already know how to sew the blocks from the part one. So please check that video as well if you are not sure. But it's exactly the same. So you'll be matching the stitches on both sides and creating single crochet like this. And when you get to the space, you will place again two single crochet like this and jump into the next space and place again two single crochet. And again, find your first stitch, look at them from the top because it's much easier to see them and try to match them like this. And continue all the way up. So I have my last space here and I will place two single crochet. So one and two. Chain one and fasten off. And this is our back part done. So we have done the sleeves, three on each side, and we finish it 
in the middle all with single crochet so let's sew our front parts as you can see i clip them all like this i wanted to show you from the start so that's why these clips are really really good for this type of cardigan to hold all my blocks together as you can see and also don't forget to attach three for your sleeve so this is your right part and don't forget to sew all your blocks like this this way As you can see sew them like this i already prepared the here and if you don't know how to sew your blocks please don't forget to check part one because i explain it how to sew them in more details okay so we are going to once we have all the lines we are going to sew the middle lines so that's how I'm that's why I'm placing them like this and also the clips so first you will sew the blocks in the lines and then we're gonna sew the lines together So don't forget to sew your blocks like this. So this is my right part and the left one. So just play with your blocks a little bit. Of course, it doesn't have to be the same placement of the blocks, white and black, black and white. It's up to you the way you put them. So once you have your back part and your front parts, we should have something like this. So the wrong side of my back part is up and the right side is facing down like this then you're gonna take your front part and the right side is up and the wrong side is inside so prepare your clips again and we are going to place them like this And of course your sleeve as well already prepared it we will start here we'll be sewing all the way up and your sleeve and don't forget we'll be placing two single crochet in each space as we did before And here, where is my underarm bit as well, you have spaces. So you'll be placing two single crochet in each space. You're gonna go up on your sleeve and you are going to end up, of course, in the space with two single crochet. And you are going to do so on the other side as well. here at the top you will place your clips like this so you will have this opening and you will place your clip where is 
your half double crochet so we, we have double crochet and we have half double so we'll be placing clips like this make sure your stitches are matching on both sides and we are going to do exactly the same on this side so where is your double crochet you will place your clip like this and this will be your neck line so here at the top you will start sewing from here and you will continue until you get to your clip where is your half double crochet okay so you will end up here and this you will leave unworked and you are going to do exactly the same on the other side so insert your hook and create a knot like this in the space like we did before chain one and place two more single crochet like this find your first stitch and continue all the way up and don't forget in each space you will place two single crochet so i am here under my sleeve and i will place two single crochet in each space one and two and skip into this next space and place again two single crochet and continue sewing your sleeve so i have finished one side as you can see here i went all the way up and it's looking really really nice with the single crochet then i started from the bottom of my sleeve and ended up here where is my half double crochet and of course i done the same on the other side so now for the sleeves i am going to show you how to make them a little bit smaller and create these cuffs so i want to make my sleeves a little bit smaller okay so let's start here where is the inside so the seam inside my sleeve and we are going to create a knot into this first space bring it in with your loop like this and create a knot i hope you can see it's a little bit tricky again this black yarn is really really difficult to see okay so we are going to insert the hook bring it up and chain one and now insert your hook into this next space like this yarn over bring it up two loops on your hook and we're gonna do two single crochet together so we need to go into this first stitch like this three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through and this is your first two together or two single crochet together and we're gonna do so in all the stitches so into the next stitch into the next stitch three loops and pull through all three okay so we'll be doing this in every stitch so one and two and pull through two together again insert into the next one three loops and pull through all three so you'll be doing two single crochet together all the way around in all the stitches 
hope you can see much better on the white part as I come to the other side. Okay, so do again two single crochet together like this. But only for the first round. So you go all the way around into the space one into the next space one three loops and pull through all three i hope you can see much better now when we are on this white part again Turn your sleeve like this until you come to your first stitch. So my last one here, one and into this very first stitch. So this will be my last decrease. Chain one and from now on you'll be placing just one single crochet in every stitch and you are going to do this for as many rounds as you want. So it's up to you. So you will continue like this. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So for me, I have done three rounds of single crochet and I'm going to slip stitch into this first stitch like this chain one and fasten off like this and of course you need to do exactly the same on your other sleeve so this is my cuff and you can go even higher. It's up to you. Okay, so for this part, we'll be creating our neckline. So we are going to start here in this corner. And then we're gonna go in every stitch but into these spaces we'll be placing only one single crochet in each space and then we're gonna come here we will place three single crochet in that corner in these spaces we'll be placing only one single crochet then we're gonna go up and all the way down and we're gonna end up here so in this corner I already created a knot and chain one and we are going to place five single crochet into this space like this. And five and you should have something like this. And now we'll be placing single crochet in every stitch like this. And when you come to the place 
between your stitches, you may go inside the stitch or in the space. It's up to you. So I have done in the stitch, or you can go like this between the stitches. So it's up to you. It looks really good both ways. Simply continue placing single crochet like this until you come to your first space And this is your first space, so you will place only one single crochet this time, okay? So one single crochet into this space and one single crochet into this space. And again, continue placing single crochet in all the stitches as we did before. Oh, there it is. I couldn't even see. It's so tricky with this black yarn that I have problem to find the stitch. Okie dokie, let's do it again. Where is it? There it is. So you will work like this. I'm here at the top and this is my corner. And I will place three single crochet into this corner. See, this is for my neckline. So I'm starting to work on my neckline. And again, single crochet in every stitch until you come to this part here. And in this part here, as you can see, this is my front part and this is my back part and this is the triangle on the other side and these are my shoulders seams. So for this triangle, we will do two single crochet together so into the next stitch and you should have three loops on your hook. You already know how to do this and continue placing single crochet in each stitch until you get to the other side and we are going to do exactly the same. In the space again only one single crochet because we are trying to make our neckline a little bit smaller and round. Okay, so we are going to do exactly the same here. Like this. And do two single crochet together. So insert, bring the loop up into the next one, like this, three loops, and continue placing single crochet.
until you get to this corner. And you will place three single crochet, the same we did on the other side and simply continue with single crochet all the way down. So now we are going all the way down here. So into this last corner I will place again five single crochet the same we did on the other side to create this round part at the bottom of our cardigan and I will go into the next stitch like this to make it more secure and do a slip stitch like this and chain one turn your work and we are going to work all the way up and then all the way down again okay so work into all your stitches now it's much easier all the way up 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 when you come to your neckline you're gonna do again two single crochet together in these corners on both sides so placing single crochet in all the stitches like this And I am here at the top where is my neckline and again we are going to do two single crochet in this corner so these two middle stitches insert bring it up two loops into the next stitch bring it up three loops yarn over and pull through all three and simply continue placing single crochet again until you come to the other side of this neckline so let's do two single crochet together again on this side these two middle stitches and do two single crochet together again oopsie daisy no single crochet two single crochet together my mistake i'm so sorry so let's do it again two single crochet together three loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all three and again place single crochet in every stage and all the way down until you come here i have a few stitches left and I have done three rows so this last stitch will be somewhere here and we are going to slip stitch like so this 
do maybe four or five rows. It's up to you. So I'm going to stop here and fasten off. And of course, don't forget to hide all your ends. And this is what we have on this side. And on this side, in the corners. And this is our color. And I am going to stay with this short one, but you can go higher if you want, if you add more rounds. So for the last part, I have these buttons. I was thinking to put more than one, but at the end I decided to go only one, but I'm going to show you how to sew them on. So you can place four or five or just one. I am going to sew only one to show you how to do it. And you don't have to create the opening to close your button because you can use this corner as you can see here. Okay, so let's sew our button on with the yarn needle. And of course, don't forget to make a knot. So you have your button and I like to just do the knot like this. And cut it off. And this is your button. And you will close it like this. And this is our beautiful granny square cardigan. Of course, don't forget to hide all your ends with your yarn needle. Oh my goodness, it's a lot. Trust me. <laughs> the ends are everywhere. So we created the cuffs for our sleeves. We put the button on. This is our opening and the neckline, beautiful. And this is it. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did. Oh my goodness, I love this video. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, share it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel Unique Stitch Designs for more ideas. And please make sure you will check all three videos. So you know how to crochet this beautiful sunburst granny square, scarf and the cardigan. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe.